Good evening. Thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to talk about our brand new residency program at Tower, How Tower Health Reading Hospital. We uh, are starting our new residency program, hopefully to get our first class of PGY2 residents in July of 2021. Uh, when we are full, we will have uh, a group of 12 residents for per year for three years. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about ourselves. We have a freestanding rehab hospital that is 111 beds. Uh, that consists of 61 acute rehab beds, uh, which includes an 11 bed secure brain injury unit. Uh, also within our rehab hospital is a 50 bed subacute uh, rehab unit, which is kind of unique these days. Uh, it is a standalone uh, rehab hospital, exactly seven minutes from our mothership, Reading Hospital. We're 10 years old. And although we are freestanding, we are hospital based. Uh, so that makes a lot of the regulations better. And we have a constant feeder of patients. We have an on site pharmacy, the beautiful uh, warm aquatic pool that you see on the slide. And we have on site radiology. We are CARF accredited and we have subspecialty programs in stroke, amputee, brain injury, our general rehab, of course. And in our next survey, we will go for spinal cord injury uh, certification as well. Our group uh, consists of 11 physiatrists. Many of us have multiple subspecialty board certifications and uh, as well as have academic backgrounds and teaching backgrounds. So this is really a dream come true for us. And we spent many years preparing to get this residency started. Um, we uh, are part of a huge mothership hospital, over 700 beds and 70 ICU beds. We have a huge emergency room. It's the busiest in PA uh, with a level one trauma center and a brand new uh, transplant program that has started. We just uh, a couple years ago built a huge uh, healthplex onto the hospital with state-of-the-art hybrid uh, ORs uh, and won uh, a green award for uh, this beautiful green roof. One of the nice things is there's a really beautiful collegial atmosphere among all the specialists at Reading because uh, most of us tend to live right in the community around the hospital. Everything is 10 minutes away. Our kids go to school together or daycare together. Um, uh, everybody knows each other outside of work and in work. So it breeds for wonderful collaborative relationships and great patient care. Um, and I really enjoy that part of practicing and living here in Reading. Um, so why would you want to train with us? Well, one of the things is the great collaborative atmosphere that I talked about. Um, another great thing is uh, how easy it is to live here. We have this beautiful standalone rehab where you have a diverse, wonderful, rich patient population, as well as a diverse uh, group of attendings who are really committed to teaching and will give you one-on-one -on -one attention. Um, we have um, this busy level one trauma center that brings in a lot of patients as well as our ED. Drexel has come here with a state-of-the-art campus, which will bring a lot of wonderful rich resources for our residency program. We have a very low cost of living here in resident, yet our salaries are as competitive as the urban academic programs. Our cost of living is 27% lower than Philly, and we're only an hour outside of Philadelphia. And we have no in-house call for our residents and no overnight call for our residents. We think that's a nice perk. So let me tell you a little bit about our acute uh, rehab program. It, as I said, is 61 beds that consist of two wings of 25. Uh, our one wing consists of Parkinson's patients, uh, amputee, multi-trauma complex medical. Our other wing of 25 is our neuro wing with um, mostly stroke and spinal cord injury MS. And then our brain injury unit uh, that also may have complex stroke patients, trachs, pegs, and such. Our average daily census is 56. Um, and we have a lot of state-of-the-art equipment. Most of our therapists have subspecialty certification as well. They're an incredible therapy team. A large percentage of our nurses have uh, rehab uh, credentialing. Uh, we have an exoskeleton, a zero G, a balance master, uh, light gate. 
driving simulator. So um, we're very privileged to have a lot of technology. As you can see, we're largely driven and we're well over 60% in our patient population. Uh, so you will have a very rich, uh, good rehab-based population with our patients. Our transitional subacute uh, unit allows us to practice the entire continuum of post-acute care and allows our residents to get all kinds of experience in that. Um, it is a short term, two weeks or less, a skilled level of care. Um, our hospitalists are the primary there with physiatry as consultants. We have a very busy outpatient clinic within our rehab hospital. It, our EMG lab is certified. Uh, most of our electromyographers are also board certified by the AANEM. We do many toxin injections in both pediatric and adult patients. We have an active cancer rehab program as well as an acute back clinic where we offer same day appointments. In conjunction, we work with neurosurgery closely and our outpatient PT colleagues. We also have outpatient PT within the building. Um, as you can see, our outpatient office is very busy, almost 6,000 visits a year. And we have interdisciplinary clinic with Parkinson's, amputee, wheelchair, orthotics, and baclofen pump patients. Our pediatric experience is last year of residency. It's a two-month dedicated rotation. In, at Good Shepherd, it's a wonderful experience in a 20-bed dedicated pediatric unit uh, with a wide range of um, uh, diagnoses, patients with amputation, brain injury, uh, CP, um, and it is a very rich, excellent rotation. Uh, Drexel has come here. The building is up out of the ground. It's beautiful with a lot of simulation labs, cadaver labs, and brings a lot of research opportunities. It's five minutes from the rehab and two minutes from the main hospital. And I'm going to introduce Dr. Sam Hepta-Silpa, our program director, and he's going to describe the rotation experience for the residents. Hi, thank you, Dr. Crozier. My name is Dr. Samkiet Sam Hemta Silpa, and program director. Uh, let me talking about the uh, schedule for the resident. After PGY1, uh, you come into PGY2, you're going to get more experience um, for inpatient rehab program. Our program is really unique. Out of eight months inpatient rehab, you will have four months for experience with our patients. Um, during in uh, patient uh, rehab, you will learn a bit complex uh, patients, stroke, uh, Parkinson management, different kind of uh, uh, inpatient treatment. And when you get into PGY3, uh, you will cement your outpatient skill and experience uh, solidify for your procedure no trouble to get EMG requirement by AEM. We had large volume of procedure, um, more than 2,000 a year. So we make sure you will get enough uh, procedure before you passing to PGY4. And PGY3 level, you also have um, a, a chance to go uh, rotation to movement disorder, uh, pain management, um, spy clinic, and also a full three months of EMG rotation. And at the PGY4 level, you will be working as the junior attending, supervising PGY2 and PGY3 for a few months of inpatient rehab. And in the meantime, you will cover uh, our patient to be independent for consultation and elective of your choice, probably probably oversee as well. And also at PGY4 level, you will have pediatric rotation at Good Shepherd a Hospital. And um, for the dialectic lecture, we have spent a lot of time uh, build up intensive dialectic curriculum uh, to follow with American Board, p and r to make sure our resident get educated according uh, to the guidance or guideline by American Board. 
uh, we have protected time um, on Wednesday, half day, no pager, no call to the resident. Attending will cover for the resident during that time. After um, uh, the didactic lecture, uh, no need to come back to work. So we make sure our resident get education. Um, for the, as I as said earlier, uh, the resident have experience uh, with hand on a lot of procedure, including EMG, ultrasound guided, a toxin uh, injection procedure, aspecticity management, including back of and pump in the future. Uh, talking about the unique resident experience, you will have a, a chance to work with athletes uh, who have disability. Uh, I'm able to to work with them, to participate with their activities, to see uh, how um, a competition is. Uh, you also have a chance to uh, working with a humanitarian effort, just as free medicine, free clinic experience. And our rehab center also have wellness program for the uh, student or uh, the resident will be in just at Tai Chi or uh, Yoka. For the scholarly activity support, we have good support from John Hopkins and uh, from Draxel for uh, research project for all the residents. For the salary and cost of living at uh, first light, uh, we are competitive and the cost of living here is not too expensive comparing, comparing to major city as mentioned by Dr. Crozier. And also we provide extra $100 uh, toward the um, uh, Housing, uh, the housing here in both Saudi two or three bedroom range about 1500 to 1800 a month. For the other benefit, we make sure our resident get uh, cover, including uh, CME um, uh, membership for uh, national organization, just at AAP, AAP, MNR, ANEM. And also we paid for board review for GY, PGY4 as well. All right, now time for Kelsey, our program coordinator. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Kelsey. I'm the program coordinator. So just a few things about living in Berks County. You really get the best of both worlds. We have amazing downtown area, lots of restaurants, breweries, um, really culturally, culturally diverse um, restaurants. You can get really anything you would want to eat downtown. Um, amazing farmer's markets, um, if you like to um, cook, literal farm to table. Um, a lot of street fairs, a lot of outdoor concerts happening all throughout the year. Um, a lot of entertainment um, through Santander Performing Arts Arena. We have uh, Reading Royals hockey team. We have a minor league baseball team. Um, Berks Jazz Festivals held every year. Um, so lots to do um, entertainment wise and um, going out to eat and things like that. And then getting outdoors, um, just a five minute drive and you have great outdoor space, just to name a few, Blue Marsh, um, amazing hiking, um, kayaking, boating, swimming, um, and also like French Creek, you can rent a yurt, a cottage, again, boating, kayaking, swimming. This is just na to name a few. There's dozens of places like these. Um, you can go skiing. And also our local schools in the area are great if you have little ones. Um, and then life surrounding Berks. So we're centrally located that if you wanted to go to one of the big cities around us, it doesn't take um, any, it doesn't take long at all. Um, here are some of the drive times to some of the bigger cities. And also there's an Amtrak station close by, um, which I prefer when I go to New York City, I prefer to take the train. I just find it more easy. Um, and also international airports close by, um, which is really nice. And to finish our presentation, we have some pictures. Um, the top left corner is Dr. Hemtisopa getting a pie in the face uh, rehab week, which we have every year. We set up um, games, uh, therapeutic games for our patients, um, 
current patients and past patients. And Dr. Sam's getting pied by our vice president. Um, the next picture is all of our doctors um, for Reading Hospital Week. The picture below that is us at um, ISPMNR before the world changed a lot. And the bottom left corner is some of the doctors um, at the therapeutic garden, which was recently donated by a patient. Um, and it's a pretty amazing therapeutic garden. It's not for doctor use, it's more for patients, <laughs> but um, it's to help for balance, but they were out one day testing it out when it first came out. So thank you so much for joining us and we can take everyone's questions now.